So let's suppose that a 20 centimeter long tendon was found to stretch a distance of 4 millimeters by a force of 40 newtons. So a tendon is simply a fibrous connected tissue found in the body that connects muscle to bone. And as we'll see in this example, the tendon is able to withstand very large tensile forces without actually fracturing. So, assuming the tendon was approximately circular and the diameter of the tendon is 9 millimeters, calculate Young's modulus under tensile stress. So, here we have the tendon. The length of the tendon is 20 meters. Our diameter of the cross-sectional area of the tendon is 9 millimeters. And when the tensile force is applied and has a magnitude of 40 newtons, our tendon stretches a distance of 4 millimeters. Knowing that quantity, we want to calculate Young's modulus for tensile stress. So we begin with this equation and we rearrange, we solve for E, where E is our uh, Young's modulus for the tendon. So E is equal to, well, we have stress over strain, so force per unit area divided by the ratio of our distances, the change in our distance, the elongation divided by the original length. So force is 40 newtons. A is simply pi times radius squared, where the radius is simply half of this, and we must convert this to meters. So we have 0.0045 meters squared times pi. We calculate this quantity and then divide that by 0.004 meters divided by 0.2 meters. So we simply take this quantity, divide that by 100 to get this, and to get the top, we simply take 4 and divide that by 1000. So now we calculate this and we get a value of 1.1 times 10 to the 7 newtons per meter squared is Young's modulus of our tendon.